Okay, I was going to show how to solve linear equations on the Casio calculator. So to do that, if you uh, once you start your calculator, when you go to the menu area, we're going to go down to equations. So if you arrow down to EQUA for equations, hit execute to go to that, and then it solves several types of equations, simultaneous equations, which are systems of equations, polynomial equations, which are like second degree or third degree equations, and then solver is what we're going to use, and that's F3. You can either click F3 or you can click the word solve. Now, you type in your equation exactly as it's sitting here, so I'm going to type in um, 2x. You have to use the x key right here. This is your x key. No matter what the variable is, you have to use this. Even if the variable is y, you have to use this x key. You can only have one variable in it also, so it will not solve literal equations. So, uh, you know, if there's more than one variable, you'll have to do that by hand. So 2x, then minus 3, right here, minus 3. Now, the next thing I need is an equal sign. And to get the equal sign, you can see it's above the decimal point right there in yellow. So I hit shift decimal point to get the equal sign, then the 5. Hit execute, and that isn't necessarily your answer. In fact, the only reason that it is the correct answer right now is because I already did this problem. But you have to, after you hit execute, you have to hit solve. So click the solve button or F6 since it's above F6, and you get your answer, which is X equals 4. Okay, I'll do another easy one. So uh, what we can do is click this, repeat. It'll take you up to this point, and you can narrow on up and type in another equation. Like, for example, if we had X, let's see if we can do this, X over, right here's the fraction key, X over 2 equals, I'll do shift decimal point, equals, let's say, 10. We want to do X over 2. 2 equals 10. Now the right answer to this is 20 because you'd have to multiply by 2 on both sides. I'll hit execute to lock it in and then click solve and you do get 20. Don't worry about this left right stuff. This is just helping the calculator answer the problem. But there's your answer right there. X equals 20. Now I have a really messy one here. We'll try to solve. That's this one right here. So let's type this one in and you can see just about as, as bad as it could ever be. So I'll hit uh, exit and uh, let's arrow up to the top and type this one in right here. So to type this one in, this is a linear equation because all the x's are to the first power. There's no other variable in it. So 2 parentheses x minus 3 close parentheses minus 2x. Now you can put that in parentheses if you want to, but uh, it knows that the 2x are both on the top and then over I think we can use the fraction key here now well if the fraction key doesn't work whoop there it is it did let's delete that 2x over was it 5 and then equals shift decimal point equals 3 minus now here we'll have to put parentheses so it knows the whole x plus 2 is up in the in the numerator so parentheses, x plus 2, close parentheses, and you can say fraction key. Uh, oop, missed something there. Let's go back over. So it was x plus 2. There we go. x plus 2, close the parentheses, fraction key. Oop, there we go. Fraction key, 3. Okay, so I think everything's typed in right. And at this point, uh, hit execute to lock it in and hit solve. And we get 4.30, sorry, 4.3103. And if you look here on the paper, you can see I did this problem by hand, which is a real mess. And I got 4.3103. So I got the exact same answer. To get that as a decimal, I don't think I can get that as a decimal. I'd ha uh, there's a chance that I could type in all these uh, decimals and uh, retype it in into the run menu. So I'll tell you what I'll do here. I'll give it a shot. And um, 
and I will type in the rest of these decimals, 4.3103. I don't think the fraction of the decimal key will work here. See, it's, that doesn't work here. 4.3103448284828. And what I'll do is I'll go to the Run menu, and I'll see if it can switch it over. So, oh, there it is. Maybe it just automatically shows right there. That's pretty amazing. Let's hit the F to D button now. Yes, it got it. I didn't even need to retype it in. 125 over 29, and that is the right answer right there, 125 over 29. I can hit the, uh, if you want that as a mixed number, hit Shift, and, the, and uh, this fraction key right here. Oops, sorry. Let's do it one more time. Hit Shift and the F to D button. There it is. 4 and 9 29 You can hit the F to D button and get it as a decimal. Hit it back again and you got the improper fraction. Or hit Shift, F to D and bring it back to a, a mixed number. But that's how you solve linear equations. And that will uh, do a lot for you right there. So uh, I'll stop this video right there.